let's talk a little bit more about the gangbang um, mm-hmm. because first of all, it's like one of my favorite subjects. And, you know, it's considered by many people outside the industry to be this like the pinnacle of degrading a woman and everything that's wrong with porn. Yeah. So what's your answer to the people who who would look at that and think this poor girl is being exploited. She doesn't want to be there. This is awful. Porn should be illegal. I think they're idiots as harshly as that may sound, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you watch it and you sit there and you're like, oh, my God, that poor girl. Do you guys not realize how this girl is literally being taken care of? Mm-hmm. She, Yeah, she's getting fucked. But one, she's getting fucked within her limits, whether it's hard like mine or easier like others. And she's doing no work. No work. I didn't have to do a thing. If they needed me to flip over, flip, flip. Hey, are you good? I got elbowed in the face on accident and they stopped and kissed my forehead. That's not, that's not a bad, that's not an aggressive thing. Mm-hmm. Like if you accidentally hit me and you go to, I'm like, okay, I'm baby. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, I think that's the pinnacle of being babied mm-hmm. for a girl. Like, yeah, it's intense, but you're just so euphoric. Your endorphins are going, your dopamine, the orgasms, like you are in bliss. You don't even know where you are. I was, I didn't even know where the camera was. I wasn't paying. I had people moving my head. I'm like, okay, <laughs> just, oh, this is where I need to look. Oh, okay. Now this, I got that's it. what's so great about working with seasoned male performers is that that's they're always wanted. aware of the camera. Um, and they'll like turn you to it. So Seth, there's not a lot Cody, you to do. John, Alex, and Mick. I don't have to do shit. Yeah. Yeah. At all. Zero. And I'm like, this is great. So many, whenever I interview um, a porn star about their gang bangs, like people who love to do them, they always say the same thing. They always say like, mm-hmm. why wouldn't I love it? I feel empowered. If I'm being worshipped by all of these me. men. They're here for me. I hear that all the time. So why do you think that the general public sees it the opposite? Because they, I think that a lot of the general public still see men as the 50 style, like the men are in power. The men are the, the ones in power. Because still, like, with politics, the men are still in power. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's hard for them to see that even though it is a situation like that, the men aren't in power Mm -hmm. and I don't think people people don't like change people don't like seeing things that they could feel uncomfortable with and I feel like if people started seeing gangbangs as a female empowerment it would change a lot about what they think Mm -hmm. I think it also has to do a lot with the fact that people have a very hard time believing that women enjoy sex that we're not here just for their pleasure right Mm mm-mm yeah, there's, I think there's a lot of that. There's a lot of inherent misogyny, I think, in in yeah. believing that and automatically painting the woman as the victim. Women are freakier most of the time than men. But you're not allowed to be Mm-mm. because you got to, no. like, hold on to your chastity and your virginity. And by the way, if we want to talk about, like, fucking selling your sexuality, those people that, like, you know, remain virgins until marriage, to me, that's just – you're selling – your virginity to the highest bidder like the that's guy all who's it is willing to, who's like, gonna buy who's gonna uh, pay for pay your dad a cow like <laughs> yeah that was the wrong sinus didn't come out correct but you knew what i meant i know what you mean yeah, yeah i mean historically things. yes like yeah. women where you had to be chased so that your father could find Courting. the highest bidder to sell you to like the and the who's man the that would pure? take you who's the best one to take you yeah like, no I enjoy my sexuality. I love, I just want women to realize that they should, they do too. Like normal women, mm-hmm. like civilian women. It's like, girl, like my best friend, her husband was very, very closed off. And now she's selling feet pictures. Good for her. It's a step. It's, it's literally. Yeah. <laughs> it's a step. <laughs> um, has your sexuality changed at all since you've gotten into sex work? Yeah. I used to be very vanilla. And now I like a lot more hardcore things. Um, never thought I'd do a gangbang. Never thought I'd do double anal. And it's, I wanted to do it. Mm-hmm. And so, like before, like I never even did anal. Two years ago, I never did anal. And mm-hmm. now that's my entire showcase. Mm-hmm. And I, I've learned that I can be free on set. And I can push my limits if I want to. Just with a conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, let's. 
you cool with like me doing this today? Yeah, cool. I'm fine with that. That's a go for me. It's a green line. It's mm-hmm. like fun. So it's like I have a safe environment to like I've been testing stuff out, like spitting on me. That was one. I was like, can you like spit on me? And I was like, oh, OK, I do like it. It just grows. Yeah. Or being well, the newest one, um, I was doing content a couple days ago and the girl was holding my head down while I was sucking dick and he plugged my nose mm-hmm. like I couldn't breathe. And I was like, oh, I like this. I was crying. I, I came up. I was like, I like this. He's like, you like that? I'm like. But you felt like you could you could stop him and, and say, and I don't like this. And then like it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, again. I know for a fact if I would have just touched his hand. Yeah. Cool. And everything would have been fine and no one would have judged you for it. Yeah. 